Uh, it's another beautiful day in box truck building land, and today I'm going to be building the center console, putting in the radio, finishing up the last of our cab upgrades, and Danny is going to be using the floor sander to sand and clean up the uh, wood in the bed, and once he does that, we're going to be able to put down a first layer of epoxy today, so that way we can really start uh, start building back there once the uh, once all the flooring is done so we rented a floor sander from Home Depot make this go a little faster and hopefully get it knocked out in a couple hours <laughs> hey so while Danny's trying not to kill himself with the floor sander I'm gonna start making our custom box First thing we gotta do is we gotta cut up this base plate and it's kind of a weird dimension. It's 10 inches deep to account for the shifter and 20 inches wide to sit between the seats. And what's gonna happen is the back will have the amplifier and there'll be the subwoofer mounted this way which is about four or five inches and then our two six by nines will be on the side. So we're just gonna build our way up. Danny's cranking right away. I'm getting the floor done now that we got the right fucking sander. I've been in here in the garage making the base box for the base box. So this is gonna sit between the two consoles, gonna be bolted to the floor. Down the front, we're gonna mount a 10 inch subwoofer facing this way. In the back, we're gonna put an amplifier on it. And in the sides, I'm gonna put in two um, six by nine speakers. So, Basically for all that to happen, we gotta get our stuff uh, kind of unboxed and figure out where everything's gotta go. So for the sub, I just got a cheap $25 Boss subwoofer, it's a little 10 inch. Uh, I mean, the audio system in the truck doesn't need to be high end like the one that was uh, in my pickup truck. And so I just went with some fairly inexpensive options. There's our Rocket Fosgate 6x9s, there's some uh, RF 6x9s, or uh, RF 5 inchers uh, back in the garage somewhere. So I'm just going to measure this up, and what we're going to do is we're going to put it as low as we can. Right there is a uh, is uh, 20 inches right there, and what that means is there's 6 inches from the bottom to that middle point, and we're going to center our subwoofer right here in the front as low as we can. That way I can seal up the top and we can use the top as a storage area. Um, so now I'm going to just drill, I'm going to measure everything out, I'm going to drill some holes, and we're going to just cut it out with a jigsaw. It doesn't need to be super precise. Um, I don't think we're going to get to it in this episode, but eventually I am going to have this thing wrapped in, uh, in black speaker carpet. I have some in the corner. I just don't have the other materials. I need to glue it all on today. And so I think we're just going to make the box, put all the electronics in it, because it's super easy to just unscrew everything uh, when you're ready to wrap the box. So there we go, we got the part for our amp, got all our hookups. Speakers are in, boxes in, so now we just gotta seal the top, seal off the storage area. And one of the cool little trips you can, 
trips. One of the cool little tips that you can do is um, if you shoot some nails in, if you measure from the bottom and shoot nails in a certain height, now I can put the shelf in here and it can just rest in here on those brads. That way it's going to be even all the way around. I can just uh, nail it and glue it in. There we go. Got our amplifier set up. We got our lid on. Got all our speakers in. Got a nice little compartment up here for storage. So now we got to go and do all the wiring in the truck. So for the rear cab speakers, we're going to use these 5 inch Rockford Fosgates. And I actually took this off of the back of this speaker. And these are nice factory connections, so we're just going to uh, solder these guys onto here. And then, boom, we got our uh, factory plug-in new replacement speakers. So Danny just started putting down a coat of polymer uh, epoxy. So we're using, it's called Polyurethane 100. It is from Arizona Polymer Flooring. It's this stuff, you mix it uh, two parts of part A to one part of part B. And then you just roll it out on the floor and I'll take you guys back here and, and kind of show you what he's doing. So once you've sanded and you've cleaned everything up, mopped everything up, this is what it should look like. So the trick to the technique is to just pour some out on the floor and, and uh, roll it out. And you don't want to go too crazy trying to get... Um, super even coat you just want to make sure you get an even coat so you just don't have to worry about the roller or trying to roll it on super thick uh, this stuff once it cures we'll put a second coat on and uh, after that it'll be pretty much bulletproof all right now we got everything cleaned up let me walk you through what we have accomplished today so on the inside we installed our new pioneer head unit uh, behind me in the back corner down here we've got those little Rockford Fosgate 5 inch speakers and I use the uh, Rockford Fosgate grill because otherwise they were rattling and then the piece de resistance oh, we finally got a base box in our base box now this is not a conventional design for a subwoofer uh, box but it really works for this because it allows me because eventually it's going to be padding up here and we're going to refinish this but basically it allows me to keep my hand up here Put this thing in the gear, put this thing in the other gears. You know, it doesn't interfere anywhere with it. I can rest my hand up here uh, and it's nice. And on top of that, we still maintain this pocket down here for documents, as well as a fairly large storage compartment up here uh, that we can use for snacks, documents, whatever. Now this box is sealed. Uh, we have a 10 inch Boss sound, uh, subwoofer down here. The amplifier and all the wiring is on the other side. The uh, battery wire is run from the battery box under the driver's seat. Um, up through the floor, there was actually a hole there already, like with a grommet for pass through, so I just put it through that. Um, and then you have two 6x9 speakers. I'm going to bring you guys down here and show you. Uh, right down there, you can see them on the sides. Those two 6x9s are rear speakers. They're wired all the way up to the dash. Um, we also installed this this is our microphone for our bluetooth hands-free talking i don't know if that's going to work in here or not because it's so loud but uh this thing hits pretty good so let me let me turn it on for you guys and just give you an idea what it sounds like in here now. here we go So that more or less wraps it up uh, for another episode. Box truck build. Pretty happy with it. Waiting for my roommate to get home. We'll run this thing back to storage. Um, the polyurethane is cooking pretty good back there. Uh, the floor is really sucked it in. So we're going to have to get at least one more kit um, and cover it two more times probably to get a nice thick layer on there. But uh, all the old scrap wood and junk came out really well. They send it down really well really happy anyway if you like this video please subscribe hit the like button leave me a comment let me know what you think i'm max this is max works peace